What is up nation? Welcome back to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Today it is NBA 2K20 My League with the Philadelphia 76ers. Episode 3, Game 2, our first game on the home court um, as the Philadelphia 76ers against the Indiana Pacers headed by Kemba Walker and of course Zion Williamson. Of course the Philadelphia 76ers coming off a victory in their first game away against Russell Westbrook and the Boston Celtics. John Wall, Kawhi Leonard, Andre Iguodala, Robert Covington, and Nikolai Vucevic uh, are starting lineup. Of course, Iguodala, clutch, clutch three at the end of episode uh, two, game one, to bring the W home for the Philadelphia 76ers. So good momentum coming out of the first game, if you ask me. So uh, here we go. We got the Sixers versus the Pacers. Like I said, our first game at home, Zion and Kemba Walker. Uh, the Pacers' best, uh, if you will, guys on their team heading their uh, heading their squad. But yeah, here we go, man. Kicking off another game highlight video. And uh, before we get too deep into this, I do want to kind of talk to you guys as this game is going on. So uh, obviously, as you guys can see by what you're watching, and if you've watched the last video as well, um, I'm kind of just doing game highlights instead of posting the entire games. But I kind of want to, you know, Q and A you guys on what you guys prefer. Um, to you know the little audience that is watching these videos, of course, and if you're just watch if you're checking me out for the first time, what do you just prefer in general when watching any kind of sports or specifically NBA 2K20 videos? Do you prefer watching full-length games? Do you prefer watching highlights? Do you prefer listening to the NBA 2K commentators over me commentating, just kind of talking about whatever, and also talking about the game? Um, or you know, which one do you prefer? So should I you know do more full games? Should I do how or continue to do how I'm doing these like the highlights? Should I do a little of both? You know, should there be a, a couple games where I just do highlights and then you know every three games or something like that I throw a full game up on YouTube? And uh, on top of that, do you guys prefer you know me talking over it um, and giving not my live reactions because of course I'm recording these videos, recording these games and then uh, editing them up and commentating them on after? Um, so do you prefer that me doing post commentary on them or do you prefer? You know, me turning the NBA 2K20 commentators on and making the highlights out of those. And then maybe full games I do live commentary for, not post-commentary, live commentary. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm kind of toying back and forth. I'm going to continue to do the videos either way. I think uh, if you're just a frequent watcher of these videos and a frequent uh, returner to the channel, you're probably going to see some, uh, some changes, some things going back and forth. And, uh, you know, with these specific NBA 2K20 My League videos until I figure out what I want to do uh, the most. So far, my favorite idea that I like is uh, doing uh, highlight videos like these, but having the NBA 2K20 commentators over them, and then, you know, every few games throwing in a full game with me doing live commentary on them. That is so far what I like the most, but I'm not sure if that's what we're going to be doing or if we're just going to be just going to be doing, excuse me, commentary videos and highlight videos, uh, like highlight videos and post commentary like this. So not sure. But let me know in the comment section below what you prefer and why I'm at it, guys. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below any thoughts, not even just about the video style, but any thoughts in general about the Sixers team, about my uh, my, my my league, anything about that you know you want to talk about. Post that down below. I'll definitely be sure to get back to anybody and everybody who comments. And then also subscribe to the channel here on No Nation Gaming. We're a growing YouTube channel, of course. Um, we got NBA 2K20, uh, WWE, UFC, a lot of Star Wars, um, and more to come. So definitely, if that's anything interests you, um, if you guys are specifically enjoying the NBA 2K20 content, definitely let me know and definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. Show your support. I would greatly appreciate it. But nonetheless, let's get back into this game. So that's about all the commentary that I have about uh, gaming and stuff like that. But let's just get back into this NBA 2K20 My League Episode 3 game two so the Sixers first home game at uh first home game at home that doesn't make sense first game at home um went pretty well I should say Indiana Pacers like I said are a pretty uh, good overall team I'd say in this game uh they drafted well in the fantasy draft which is actually the first my league episode that we did so you can go check that out if you want to see the full fantasy draft um but they definitely have a good squad and they definitely gave me a good fight um I will say that I already uh, pre-taped the game three of my league against the Washington Wizards, which are headed by James Harden. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't even say they're the best squad. I think they're uh, kind of uh, definitely lower than the Indiana Pacers. So I think the Pacers definitely gave me a good fight here. I got to say, um, you know, definitely credit to the CPU. Um, gave me a good fight down to the wire. As you can see, we're already in the fourth quarter. 
and uh, it was tied up 56-56, and um, they got a lot of big plays on me, man, I will say, like, I'm not gonna say that just like that, you know, Zion was definitely explosive in this game, um, and, you know, he's a hard guy to stop, whether that's, you know, defensively or offensively, so, you know, they definitely give me a fight in this game, um, but, you know, I, I, I like my squad, man, I really do, I think I drafted well, I got two guys heading my team, and Kawhi, and uh, John Wall, that I really like and I think it really helped me bring my team to the end of my league and hopefully into the playoffs and into a championship. Um, but then I built around that and then, you know, you guys saw if you watched my draft uh, episode one video of my league that I, my first five picks I spent getting somebody at each position and then, you know, added guys under that. I didn't just pick the best players that were absolutely available at the time. You know, I got Kawhi, then I got John Wall and then I started picking like I wanted a center, I wanted this, I wanted that. Um, then I, you know, continued to add underneath to that. So I think overall my squad is a really good squad. Um, I like my starting five. I like my bench. You know, I'm not, you know, sweating every time Kawhi sits down and somebody from the bench comes in. Um, I really like my team. I think we got an overall good team, not just a, a good starting lineup. Um, so I think we're going to go far, man. Like I said, I think we are, we struggled against the Indiana Pacers a little bit. Um, you'll see what the final results are in a few minutes. But at the end of the day, I think I have a very good Sixers team that I can bring. Um, to, to the championship, I'll be honest, we were playing a 29-game season, so in my opinion, that makes every game matter, which is why we're going to be playing every game in one way or another here on the channel, whether that's through highlights or full games, what you see, but I will be playing every single game. Um, so every game matters, and you know I want to make sure I can win as many to get the best spot available that I can in the playoffs, and then hopefully, you know, I couldn't really tell you off the top of my head who what the Eastern Conference is looking like because of the fantasy draft. I don't know who's where, um, but it, hopefully we're one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference when the playoffs roll around. And hopefully, we can end up, you know, winning the championship and bringing the title home to Philadelphia with uh, a new squad and Kawhi and John Wall and Iguodala and, uh, and everybody else. So, we'll see. But as you can see, we got 34 seconds to go. Um, Indiana Pacers down by three, uh, 69-73. Now they're at the line. Obviously, we didn't include a lot of the foul shots in these highlights, but... This is a very important one. We're down to the wire, so I figured it was important to keep. 70-73. Pacers at the line. And goes in. 71-73. Pacers now just behind by two. So with 33 seconds left, a must-needed bucket to tie up the game. John Wall brings it right to the net. And John Wall puts it right in the net. So there we go. 75-71. Sixers up by four. Pelicans, or Pelicans, I said that because of Zion. Pacers ball, Kemba Walker drains the shot off the catch and shoot. Nothing you can do about there. 74-75, uh, we're going to inbound the ball, and they're clearly on our asses because they want to foul, which they do, you know, can't really avoid it, so it is what it is, but we got the point, or excuse me, we got the lead by one point, and now Kemba Walker sending John, uh, John Wall to the line. So here we go, 25 seconds left. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? John Wall drains it. 76-74, two-point lead for the Philadelphia 76ers. John Wall at the line again, shoots two. Does not make the second one. Pacers bringing down the ball. Kemba's got it. Pass to Zion, who's right there at the net, unfortunately, with no defense on him. Um, and gets the easy two. So a tied ball game, 72-72. I got the ball. As the Sixers with 13 seconds left. And um, the Pacers, man, they put some heavy defense on me here. I just couldn't seem to find a, a good shot. I didn't want to throw it up, miss, and then give them the chance to run down and make a quick two. So I figured I'm not going to force a shot. I'll move the ball around. Um, and if I can make the shot, cool. If not, we'll go to overtime, which, as you can see, is what we did. And uh, hopefully we can end it out there. But 76-76 going into the OT. Um, so we got the tip off here. Three minutes on the clock instead of six, of course. Um, six is what we do for the normal quarters. And then three, obviously, cut that in half for the overtime. Um, and the Pacers, man, they came out swinging, I will say, in uh, the beginning of overtime. As you're going to see, Kemba Walker immediately goes for a shot. Does not make it. Robert Covington throws it down to Vucevic. Covered John Wall with the ball. Seth Curry, our sixth man in. Robert Covington trying to put the moves on Zion. It does not go anywhere. Zion stiff arms us. And then here's where you see the Pacers getting a little momentum. Gets the easy two. Sixers inbound the ball here to John Wall, who's right there. Love just cutting it in the net and throwing it up. That's, a, that's something you'll probably see me do a lot anytime in clutch moments like that. Um, but anyway, 81-80. The Pacers are up by one. John Wall's got the ball. Ball he brings it to the net. Passes to Rocco. 
defense heavily on him in the paint. Nothing we can do about that. Seth Curry right there. Going to go for the shot. Nope. There's Kawhi. Drains it. No, he does not. Vucevic grabs it. Heavy defense. John Wall to Robert Covington. Doesn't want to make the shot. Vucevic now going to try to put the moves on in the paint. Gets the shot. Gets the two. That is sticking with the ball right there. Vucevic gets the two. 82-81. Sixers take the lead. Pacers now going to throw in the ball. Let's see if they can put the moves on us. Get, get the lead with the 17 seconds left in overtime. Kevin Walker with the ball. John Wall playing D. Almost lost him there. Almost had us. Goes to take the shot. Goes for the three. It does not make it. Rocco. Oh, he fouls us. Rocco grabbed the rebound. They fouled us. John Wall. Look at that. I told you. I told you. Cuts to the net. Boom. And with 4.7 seconds left, you kind of already know what's going on here. You kind of already know. 84, 81. The Philadelphia 76ers aren't having none of the Indiana Pacers. They tried, but they did not succeed. The Philadelphia 76ers are taking this one home. 84, 81 with 0.7 seconds. You think they're going to do anything? You think they're going to do anything? You think they're going to do anything? Let, 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 let's just watch. Let's just watch. You know, I won't even talk. Let, 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 let's just check it out. You ready? Ooh, what? 85, 81, what? 0.7 seconds? Good night. Thank you very much. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Game 2, first one at home, episode 3, in the books. Philadelphia 76ers defeat the Indiana Pacers here on NBA 2K20 My League, episode 3. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the highlights. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I can't wait to play some more games here on the channel. It's been real. It's been fun. And I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.